What's up everybody, this is The Offspring with Farming Simulator 2015 Mods. Today we have some cool new mods. As you can see right here, you're going to say, oh, didn't you have a um, fertilizer, water, I guess, uh, tanker truck trailer in last mod video? Yes, I did. Um, this is a different variant of it. I decided to pick it up because um, the other one had the triaxle in the back, but this one has the, just, you know, the triaxles uh, all symmetrically lined up. So I decided to pick it up. It, it looks a lot more clean, and uh, uh, this trailer just looks really nice. I mean, a shout out to the, you know, the mod creator who created it. It is very, very polished looking trailer. Like I said, I love these tires and rims. They're just beautiful. And uh, check that out. Looks like we have another dump truck. Uh, this is the Peterbilt dump truck. Um, I have a Kenworth dump truck, pretty similar to this one. Um, th they're pretty much identical, uh, but this one uh, is Peterbilt, you know, uh, and I probably will be using the Peterbilt more because I do love Peterbilt a, a lot more than Kenworth. I will say that. Um, usually I'm not really brand loyal. I I'll still use the Kenworth, but uh, we have the Land Rover right here. We have this, I guess, off-road crazy, I guess, mud truck that we can take all around. And check this out. Finally, we have this doll trailer. It's a uh, kind of a European trailer, but uh, right now, it. It far surpasses the trail tech because I've had a lot of issues with the trail techs and uh, within 2015 not in 2013 and I decided to pick this trailer up because it's going to be great for heavy hauling and uh, hauling a, a bunch of equipment on a huge trailer and I have this Kenworth heavy haul truck right here and this thing is just a beast it reminds me of my red one in uh, 2013 and uh, shout out to my subscribers who sent me this truck right here. I decided to put this in the, uh, the video because I've been playing around with this. This little farm Chevy, old Chevy farm truck. It's a 1966 Chevy C10 pickup truck. Very, very nice. And uh, you can pick it in any color you want, just like how the other mods are. And this is a uh, around a 2006 Dodge 2500 long bed. Uh, it's, it's a nice truck. It, it's the same body style as that uh, Gasser Cummins truck, but this one actually sounds like a Cummins and looks like it. So it's got the Rockstar rims and tires and everything on it. So it's a pretty nice truck. It has, um, oh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is storming outside. Uh, that was some thunder. My apologies for that. Mother Nature is just not liking me to make videos. And it's got the dual exhaust in the back along with the stacks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's what I thought, but um, we'll go ahead and start off with the dump truck. And you can close the cover on it, just like the Kenworth, um, and you can also automatically, you know, I mean manually, uh, dump your loads instead of having to actually go to the, um, the, the unloading site, and then it does it for you. So I, I really do like that. And I uh, will put the triaxle down right there. It's got warning lights also. We'll go ahead and take it for a run. It's nice and snappy. And it does have hookups for a pup. But unfortunately, I can't get my pup to show up in the game. So we'll take this thing on a top speed run at about 90. It's pretty quick for a dump truck, and it, it speeds up and accelerates fairly nice. Rolling coal right there, the black water vapor looking coal. Turn around over here. I do not know if I have my other Kenworth at this farm right here. Yeah, there it is, over here. So we'll drive over here to do a little con comparison of uh, the two dump trucks. The Kenworth does look a little bit more heavier duty, um, but it's generally the same truck. As you can see right here, here's the Kenworth. It doesn't have the tri-axles, but it's got the, the beefier tires and rims on it, so you can see pretty much identical rigs um, very very nice I'll be definitely using them in the series so we'll go ahead and take a ride back over to the mod shop there should be I, I, I was looking at my uh, the F 350 or F550, whatever you want to call it, the uh, the big one with the uh, 6x6 tires on it, how it's an AR truck. We sh I wish I someone could make like a Peterbilt tandem truck that can hook up to AR stuff like dump trucks, flatbeds, and all kinds of other cool stuff. So we'll go ahead and turn right back in here and park it. Alrighty. There we go. 
We'll go ahead in this Land Rover right here. I really do like this. It's modeled very, very nice and will be great for mudding and off-roading and just generally having some fun and blowing off some steam when you just want to draw something really cool. Here's the interior. The gauges, let's... Oh, I hear that. This thing's a diesel. Great. As you guys know, I'm a diesel bug and this thing is just beast. So the gauges do work. The boost gauges, I mean uh, the revs and the uh, speedometer. Dang, this thing is diesel. I never knew it. Very nice. So we'll go ahead and take this thing off-road instead of uh, going on the streets. Top speed on it's a little 93, but it's not too quick. Oh, I thought there was no collision right there. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit quicker, but still, this thing um, should have some power. So we'll just take it in the field. Man, this thing drifts like crazy. That's awesome. Check that out. It's like a trophy truck. I guess I'm going to try to do another drift right here. Man, it sounds like an old Detroit. Old uh, 6.5 Detroit. Yeah, it sounds identical to a little Detroit motor. Huh, I never knew that was back here. That's the, uh, the uh, dairy farm over there. Dairy parts. So we'll go ahead and head on back. Yeah, this thing handles really, really nice. As you can see, I barely can see when I'm driving in first person in this field right here. Go look for uh, some UFO sightings. Whoa, there we go, got the drifting again. This thing seems like it'd be very top heavy in real life because to me the uh, tires look very close to each other. I, I can see this thing flipping very very easily. As you can see when you drive it, just in the game you can tell like it's a it's an easily flippable car. Just like those, um, those old school Suzuki Samurais, if any of you guys are old enough to remember what a Suzuki Samurai is. Those things back in, in the day, I remember there, there was a whole big ordeal about Suzuki Samurais flipping. And uh, it was just, it was crazy. So here's the uh, Kenworth right here, the heavy haul. The old beast finally got me a heavy haul crazy truck. I tried putting a Peterbilt 384 in the game. It was like a light duty kind of uh, a truck that I would use to haul that tanker right there. But it, it just did not want to show up in the game. So we'll take this thing with the trailer on. Can you unlock? Hmm. I just noticed something. I don't see any ramps to load up the equipment on here. Okay, so how am I going to get a vehicle up here? I guess, I mean, I understand if there's like a 4x4, but if you take something like this right here, I don't understand how it would get back up. Yeah. Huh. But we'll figure it out. I got placeable ramps, so if anything, I can always load it back up. So I'll take this thing. Whoa. Something's going on. This thing's like not letting me turn. I don't know why all the times these these type of trailers like um, low boys and all kinds of other stuff they always seem to have problems it's like I never ever have had a low boy a working low boy in farming simulator in all games tw t from 2011 to 2015 there has never been a actual working low boy and I had my hopes set up high for this thing and um, it seems to be backing up decent, but as you can see, I'm turning and this thing is just not wanting to comply with me. Okay, now it's wanting to comply a little bit. Nope. Yeah, now I'm going to get people saying, oh, you suck at driving, you suck at driving. No, it's not that. It's just this trailer just does not want to work with me, so... I don't think this is going to be a contender, guys. If any of you guys can get this to work, feel free and leave me a comment. But this thing is just not working for me at all. Maybe if I try to put my triaxle down, it might give me a little bit more leverage. But I, I don't know. Nope. Same problem. So we'll go ahead and unlock and uh, drive this truck and test it out. 
it does have the uh, warning lights on it also. I apologize for my voice still still recovering from the sickness. I, I swear this is like the worst kind of sickness I've ever had in a while. It's like never wanting to let up and, and give me a break. Always congested and everything. It's just so very aggravating. So we'll go ahead and take this at a top speed of 87. Go ahead and turn up here. We'll lift that axle back up. And the, uh, whoa, the camera angle, it's kind of hard to see. It's like my guy is nine feet tall, but the gauges and everything do work. You can see the interior does look very nice. But, uh, <laughs> oh, look at that. It's got a, I just didn't even notice that little single stack right there. That's nice. All right, we're going to head back down there. Yeah, all links of the mods are in the description of these mod videos. If you guys need any helps with the mods and everything, please leave me a comment and a like down below. It helps the videos out grow and succeed. So please leave me a like and a comment. It'll help me out. And uh, add me on Boom Beach, PlayStation 4, anything if you guys need any mod help or want to play with me. So we'll go ahead and hook up to this tr tanker trailer right here. Hopefully this trailer works. But these U.S. trailers seem to be working very, very nice. All right, we are now hooked up. I take that back, guys. I don't think it was the trailer. It's actually the truck, because this truck is. Ha I'm having the same issue um, with this with this trailer right here. So I apologize. It it wasn't the, it wasn't the trailer right there. It's this truck. This truck is for some reason not wanting to haul. <laughs> Uh, and it's kind of pointless to have a semi truck that that doesn't even want to haul so I don't know what's up with this thing I guess I'm gonna have to to wait for it has a an updated revision or something because it's obviously not working so we're gonna have to spawn us in a different semi truck so we can actually test these trailers out Let's see which should I spawn in I'm gonna think the Pepsi truck because I really do like that truck so yeah, it's not the trailers, it's this Kenworth right here causing the issues. So I bet you once I uh, hook up to these trailers with this rig, it's going to work perfectly. Whoops. So we accelerated a little bit too quick. And look at that. It's still doing it. Okay, so maybe this trailer is having issues, but I don't understand what the problem is. Maybe there's something like blocking me or something? But it's not turning. I'm trying to turn and everything. As you can see, my tires are turned, but it's just not wanting to comply. So I don't, I don't know if it's these trailers doing it and it, it, that truck is actually working, but I don't know. There's only one way to test, and it's to spawn a different trailer in and see if, uh, if we're having just a game issue. So we'll go ahead and spawn another trailer in to see what the culprit is. Go ahead and uh, we'll spawn the Pepsi trailer back in. So if this Pepsi trailer works, then there is obviously something wrong with those trailers. And hook up. I don't see what the issue is. I go. I gotta straighten up a little bit more. All right, and I am back, and I got this thing to work. Both trailers. I guess it was something with the other map. I switched maps and everything, and did some digging and stuff. So it is not the trailers. Um, I think it may have been the truck itself. Uh, I, I don't know, but um, I have everything working. So. It's finally doing good, so we got flashers, we got um, pretty much everything working, so we'll take this thing out. The only thing I don't know is uh, it has no ramps, so loading things up will probably require a placeable ramp, so I'm probably going to have to do that. Um, luckily, I do have a placeable ramp back at the farm, so we'll, that, that'll be no problem, but this thing is like scraping the ground. Um, okay, let's see, because... Technically, if this is a low loader, you would load up right here. This is where the ramps are. I can see them right here, but how do I detach it? That is the question. Hmm. 
Let's see. Origin lock loading. Okay, that's not it. Alright. So the mouse button lifts it up, so now you can lift it up. It's just getting this thing detached is kind of confusing. Oh, got it. There we go. Look at that. So apparently you have to like push away and then it'll like, it's got like magnets in it or something that like come and detach it because me doing that with the mouse just detached it. So, okay, I get it now. Very nice. So, well, we now have a low loader. So we'll go ahead and attach this thing back up. All right. back up park this thing right here and we'll go over to the Chevy finally thing sounds really nice has a lot of controls to it so I can open my driver's door hop on out here's the interior everything works uh, so close the driver's door I can put the windows down too awesome very nice hood Let's see what this thing looks like very very nice all right, tailgate. How do I close that hood again? Five, there we go, tailgate. Racks, takes that off. I kind of like it without the racks. So close the hood back up and take it for a run. Top speed on its 121. We'll go ahead and take a right this time. Whoa, 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 whoa. Physics on it is very nice though. Alright, let's see how fast we can take this beast. Here's the interior. So we're topping right now at about 50. Let's see if we can go a little bit quicker. Need for speeding right now. Alright, so we finally topped this thing out. U-turn. Not bad. I, this is a cool little truck. I think I had one for 2013. Um, yeah, I did. I did have one for 2013. I, I think it was in actually my first video I ever created on this channel. I had a um, Chevy C10 in it. And my other C10 was a beast. It would like haul the PJ trailers and everything it was crazy so we'll go ahead and park right there and head to this last Dodge right here finally sounds like a Cummins that other one did not the other red one so this thing goes a little bit quicker at 135 stacks just choochin just choochin as Pug would say alright dang this thing's quick Oh, it drifts a little bit also. Yeah, we are just flying right now. Oh, look at that. The um, interior and everything does work also. 4x4 off-road. It was supposed to come with a, a custom PJ trailer, but I don't know where that went, so there we go. We brake slid right there. And here it is right there. All right, guys, this is, I guess I'm going to end this video right here. Um, please leave me a like and a comment on these videos. They help me out tremendously. All the links to the mods are in the description. I'm also going to include the ones that did not work and show up in the game because if you guys can get them to work, you know, it's fair game for you guys. And, um, you know, shout, tell me if uh, you can get everything working and uh, we'll see what's actually wrong and submit it and tell the modders themselves. So, um... All links in the description, add me on Boom Beach, Snapchat, everything's in the description, and I hope to have a good day with you guys, because I'm soon making the server, so um, I'm just looking for some people to help me create a server. I posted a thread on Reddit to help uh, with servers and stuff like that, so if anybody can help me, please uh, feel free and leave me a comment down below. So, alright guys, um, see you guys in the next video. Later!